Hey guys, it's Ogusty, and welcome back to Let's Kill Time with One Way Heroics. So this is a neat little roguelike I picked up, which actually reminds me of the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon games. The reason for that is that you move in a grid, you can find enemies, get experience, find items, um, visit shops and talk to NPCs, get quests, and do other stuff like that. And the um, big gimmick of this game is that there is this wall of doom approaching from the left side of the map, and you have to constantly move to the right to avoid it why it's called One Way Heroics. Now I've done two runs of this game so far, they went decently well, um, nothing too impressive happened, <laughs> but the goal of this game is to play until the Demon Lord shows up and you fight him with the items you've collected, if you beat him then you win. I doubt I'll do that today, but what I'll be doing is one run of the game, unless I die early on then I'll do two, so yeah. Let's start a new adventure. This is me, August the Swordsmaster. There are various perks in the game. I'm not quite sure which are the best ones. So I'll do Strength, Vitality, and Survivor. And let's start the adventure. Various worlds here. Um, I'll just do a random world. And a walk in a park. The Demon Lord appears at 400 kilometers. No partners. Weight limit plus 10. Whatever that means. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this game actually has, yeah, like a weight limit, so you can only hold a certain amount of items. Wow, we started in a pretty unfriendly place. Yeah, yeah, this is King Victor, the brilliant, and there is the Wall of Doom on the left. I pray for your success. Alright, so here we are. It's time to move on. The game is turn-based whenever we move, the world moves. That goes for enemies as well as the Wall of Doom behind us. And we do have some, um, Z is the attack button. As usual, attacking also takes up a turn. And if you press, um, S, can we go to our items up here? Skills, items, part of the herb. Every so often we can use this to get a healing thing. And we also have a fairy here called Iris. And she gives you some tips as well as some other stuff. The volcanic terrain, yeah. Well, there aren't many towns, and it's really hot. You won't find anything besides scorched buds, so ignore herbs on the ground. You can find jewels in the area, probably this terrain's only saving grace. Oh, okay, so stay out of the lava. <laughs> this is actually my first time ever in this area. Ooh, a map of the area. What does this do? Use! Oh, so that shows how many places until we leave the area. Alright, it's a while away. Let's get walking then. So as you can see, there is a small map next to our life, ST and energy. ST is like... High bird thing. Ow! Um... I forget how to change my direction. I guess we'll just have to do this. <laughs> Kill it! So yeah, it is definitely like the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon games. And as I was saying, another bird... ST is like our special point, so um, to fight, we have to use them. Wait, no, we have to use them for our special moves. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> oh, mountains. Another bird. I expect a volcanic terrain to have, like, lava monsters. Silver. Oh, God, more birds. Seriously. Hey, level two, intellect up. Um... I feel like I should heal up here. <laughs> Let's just eat that. The game also has an energy meter, kind of like the food meter in the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon games. Although in this, if your energy goes down, then you become weaker. And it's more easier for enemies to kill you, so to watch out for that. Oh, what's this? Looks like a dungeon. Get out of the way, zombie. What's in here? Ooh. What is that? It's like a demon thing. Okay, quickly, where are the options? Um. <laughs> the diagonal key is control. Okay. That's what I was looking for. Uh, how does this work? Ooh, combo. Uh, I'm going to run away, actually. That thing's pretty strong. Oops, shit. Uh, I wanted to go diagonally. Leave me alone! <laughs> okay, what special moves do I have? 
Um, Berserk. Um, they didn't use one use though. Hmm. Let's do a bash attack. Oh shit. Uh, one more. Weight limit up. Oh, okay. This is really bad. I might have to use Berserk. Heal up. Oh, uh, yeah, let's do it. Using this right now is probably a really bad idea. But either way, at least we survived and I can show off more of the game. Oh, what's this? Talk. I can bestow upon you great power in exchange for your experience. You'll lose levels, but none of your stats. I don't really see the downside of that. Like, if you lose levels, wouldn't it be easy to level back up? Um, let's get our... Ooh, critical hit would be nice. Yes, yeah, do that. Oh, so Berserk has a negative to it. No, it's not too long. It's only like 30 more turns. And we're almost out of this area, which is good. And no more birds are showing up, which is good too. <laughs> uh, I wonder how a Berserk gets more uses. Uses, rather. Oh, put a herbs back. Cool. Let's get that. There is a lot of dudes in here. How powerful are these dudes? Yeah, they're decently powerful. Um, yeah, I don't really feel comfortable fighting these guys. <laughs> in fact, I might actually heal up. I'm taking so much damage here. <laughs> Another class you can get is like a knight, which has a lot of defense and stuff. Uh, I think we're okay, actually. Come on. Give me a deck. Cool. And we've got some big stones as well. Stones work in a similar way that, as they do in the um, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon games. You can like throw it at people. Stopped. Okay. Hey, a sword. Give me a deck. Is that better than my current one? Oh no, don't drop it. Pick up. Oh, let's leave the menu then. Let's see, where is it? Here it is. I don't know how good it is. I guess I'll just leave it there for now. I can probably identify it later. Hello? 400 kilometer mark, make sure you're prepared for the battle. Over 100 kilometers in, oh, cool. Alright, our energy's pretty low. Let's bring this guy over. Hey, weight limit increase, nice. Rusty Bastard Sword. Oh, look at that damage. But the accuracy is down on it. What's the accuracy of my current weapon? I guess just my standard... Yeah, let's try it out. Equip. I reckon that the items have a certain use as well. So this will be used 25 times before it breaks. Oh, it's a bat. That is one damage. You suck, bat. Apparently I suck too. Scroll of Confusion. That could be helpful. Ooh, this guy's powerful. I'm going to switch back to my other sword. I don't want to miss this. Ow! Let's heal up. Eat it. These guys aren't too bad. I say that as he kills me. Get him! Get him! Thank you. Max life. That's nice. Oh shit, these guys are pretty dangerous though. Let's use this pile of healing. <laughs> Leave me alone! Okay, 
He's caught behind the bat. This is good. Although the bat's getting extra attacks on me. No, bat. No. God, this is embarrassing. Generating world? What is this, Minecraft? Hey, fruit. Oh, that guy got stopped. Yes. If he gets stopped some more, he might leave me alone. <laughs> I can defeat the bat easy. Well, let's just do that. Okay, now we have to take care of this guy. <laughs> I can't explore for shops. Yes, he's gone. Okay. Give me that. Can I eat the fruit? Yes, energy by 70. Nice. Oh, shit. Why are the enemies here so friggin' powerful? Let's use this. Attack that guy or something, please. God, I wish I could fight these things. <laughs> I don't want to risk it, though. Let's use this. And then eat it. And keep running away. Oh god, there's so many guys here. All this delicious... <laughs> oh my god, it's like a conga line. All this delicious experience I can't get. At least I had time to eat something. Get my health back. And my energy too, that's nice. Oh god, bats. That's why. Maybe I can feed these guys, actually. I was mostly worried about the lizard guy, but he's gone now. Ooh, this imp's doing a bunch of damage, though. Should I heal or just risk it? Let's risk it. Yeah. Level 6, nice. I have no health items, though. But we are almost at the 200km mark. I have nothing to kill this bird. Two times. It comes down to this one attack. Come on! Shit. Of course, switching items will use a turn. I didn't even think of that. Damn it! <laughs> ah. What an anticlimactic end. <laughs> what should we do? How do we end this adventure? There was no shop. I couldn't use my silvers at all. I won't lose next time. All right, what's our rank? Let's see. Advice time. Ooh. Awakening ability. Ah, huh, okay. Goodbye, Iris. No, it's a decent score, I guess. Battle grade's nice. Our treasure pickup was awful because we uh, <laughs> kept running past everything. Yeah, I guess that was an okay adventure. Our hero points went up. Hero points basically go up as you play the game. You can level up the classes and get new classes and stuff that way. As you can see, our dimensional vault. Unlock a new class. Can I afford anyone? I could. I can get a pirate or an adventurer, a force user or a bard. Ooh, uh, let's get the pirate. Yes. Our mitties. Hey, achievements. And I'll show you quickly before we end. Um, uh, These are the classes I unlocked at the moment. I have a swordsmaster, a knight, a hunter, and a pirate. And it can be male or female. That's the knight. Hunter and the pirate. Our mitty. Alright guys, that is it for One Way Heroics, hope you enjoyed. Um, this game's super cheap on Steam by the way, it's like 5 bucks and it goes down to like 50 cents in sales, so keep an eye out for it. But once again, thank you all for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.